Hello, welcome back. How are you doing? Today we are going to be discussing one of my favourite autumn winter items. You all know, you've seen the title. So I'm going to be trying on some brand new coats with you. I have no idea if they're going to look good or not. This always makes me very, very nervous. I did this last year with H&M and I didn't love it. There were a few that I liked, but when I look back, I'm like, mm, no. And it always bugs me when I look back and I'm not like super in love with the items, but I know you guys always find it really helpful when I try things on. So we're gonna do a little mini version of that, nothing too crazy. I'm also gonna show you a couple of new coats that I've added into my wardrobe this autumn winter and hopefully they will still be available and then I'm going to talk through some of the older purchases I've made that I absolutely love and that have already restocked. A lot of the coats that I go for are quite classic and they come back year after year so a lot of them restock so I'll be talking you through those and then a couple that I think are going to restock. I'm also going to try and do slightly different stylings for various coats but I am not going to do anything too crazy because I don't want this video taking forever. Coat shopping is annoying enough as it is without me making you watch like a 40 minute video on coats. She says the edit for this will probably be 40 minutes. I'm aiming for a 20 minutes or less guys. So where do we begin? Do I try on new things? Do I show you some old things? What do we do? What are we doing? What are we doing here? I'm gonna leave the two new ones till the end because they're making me nervous. So I have a couple of new coats from Mango, but actually I wanna get started with showing you my favorite new addition to my autumn winter coat wardrobe because it is stunning. And in terms of the color, it's very different to anything else that I've ever had in my wardrobe and I'm just absolutely loving it. So we have this gorgeous Zara grey coat. You may have seen this already on my TikToks or on shorts because I just couldn't wait to tell everyone about this coat. Firstly, it is so soft. It's incredible. It feels so nice to touch. Like not one of those like really rough walls. It feels absolutely gorgeous and the fit of it is just so nice and oversized and slouchy. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. So this is the Zara grey coat. I absolutely adore this i just think it is so beautiful i have this in a size extra small i ordered the extra small and the small and put the extra small on and straight away i was like you absolutely do not need to go for your regular size in this i would normally get a small but it's just so oversized that i think a small would just completely drown me but this is like the perfect fit for me and i absolutely love it with just a black tank top a pair of blue jeans my Uggs because I'm just obsessed with the Uggs right now. It is just stunning. If you're going to purchase one coat, oh, are we making that? Are we making that claim? Actually, no, because there's another coat from last year that if you were going to purchase one, well, it depends on your style, but this one ranks very, very high for me. I would highly recommend it. I think it is just stunning and a real wardrobe classic. Like, you will just pull this back out year after year after year. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this next one. I need your opinion on because I am not sure. I saw Emily Ratajkowski wearing a like long black leather trench and I was like, now I need a long black leather trench. Sorry, I'm very jangly today. I need to take this charm off my bracelet. I picked this one up from, do you say naked or N-A-K-D? I don't even know. I got an EU 34 and it is very, very oversized on me. The length is fine. I mean, it's a little bit matrix, but wasn't it always gonna look like that? But I'm just, not sure you guys i'm not sure so this is it open i'm gonna have to watch this video back with you and decide but this isn't really how i actually envision styling it to be fair i was thinking very streamlined like black outfit underneath maybe some amazing boots i'll pop a little cutaway over the top here but yeah i can't decide is it too bin liner like i already have the ysl bin liner bag is this too much i kind of envisioned it being worn tied up like this but i'm just not sure so if you could all let me know your thoughts that would be great and then i have a couple of new jackets i love a jacket this one is from zara it's absolutely gorgeous it's like a biker style in a really lovely like beigey oatmeal color which isn't a color that i am heavily investing in as much as i used to but just in this jacket style in the material that it is i'm not actually i think it's just like a polyester type material but it's very soft it's not leather it's not a boot clay like it feels like a really lovely classic i don't know something about me really loves it it's just very easy very casual but kind of not too not too slouchy casual it's just nice and i feel like i would keep this for years and years and still come back to it i really like it with like the blue straight leg jeans just worn really really casually as opposed to it being 
dressed up, which wasn't how I initially thought that I would wear it, but I really enjoy styling up this way. Hello. Hi. The builders are in today. He thought she was traumatized when the window cleaners came last week, in last week's vlog. Was that last week's vlog? I can't even remember when that will have gone up now, but if you thought she was traumatized by the window cleaners, you should wait until the builders come in, because it's a whole different level of like clingy. Like she just follows me around, but in like this bunny in a headlights kind of way where she's just constantly panicking and it's the saddest thing so we're keeping her safe in the living room but anyway i really love this one i feel like it's very different to a lot of the other jackets that i've seen on the high street and if you're more of a jackets person than a coat person i think this is a really lovely one it would look equally as nice with like a pair of trackies and a hoodie as it would like dress up or one with jeans i think it's very very versatile i would basically wear this almost in the same way that i would wear an actual leather jacket so yeah i think it's lovely and versatile i can't remember how much it was i showed this in my recent zara haul actually if you haven't watched that definitely go and check it out I've got a size small and I think it fits really well. Like it's a little bit boxy and oversized, but not too much. It hits that sweet spot that you want a jacket to hit. And it's not too thin, but not too heavy and thick and bulky either. It's just perf that perfect layering piece. So I'm a big fan of this one. Next up, the one that could completely ruin my outfit today because you don't really want to wear this with a black top unless you love limp rollering yourself. But this jacket from Zara is one that I could not pass up picking up it is just stunning i actually still haven't decided if i'm definitely going to keep it yet but i think it is beyond stunning i'm probably going to keep it let's face it there's a reason it's not been put back in the zara box like you always know if something goes straight back in the zara box i don't love it that much but if something stays out i really like it and this one does look absolutely gorgeous with a pair of wide leg trousers it looks really nice with like the jeans i'm wearing today but i have a pair of greeny grey beige trousers from mango and this looks absolutely insane with those but also looks equally as nice with what i'm wearing today because the uggs the tone of them just ties in really nicely with the like chunky teddy bear material on this and i just love the really oversized cuffs it's very 2000s but like the grown-up version because i swear i used to have a jacket exactly the same as this but like blue and pink very y2k but not the vibe i got it in a medium and it's so like oversized and snuggly and chunky what do you guys think let me know do you hate it or rate it i feel like it's a real marmite kind of item like a real opinion divider but yeah i think it is so stunning and just so warm and snuggly you could just wear it really casually as well with like a pair of leggings and lace up boots and a nice beanie and that would look so nice like a big chunky scarf like this will take you from autumn to winter it is just such a stunning jacket and i love the fact that it's like a little bit it's just super oversized but i love the fact that it kind of I feel like it dips a bit at the back, give you a little bit more length at the back, and I really like that as well. I think it's quite a flattering design. But yeah, let me know. What do you guys think of this one? I oh I just I love anything that makes me feel really cozy and snuggly, to be fair. On the note of cozy and snuggly, one type of coat that is actually not going to be in this video in particular, I might do a separate winter coats video and kind of focus more on this is teddy bear coats to be honest mostly because mine are still in storage it's just not teddy bear coat season and i don't really have the mass amount of space that they require right now so those aren't in here partly because i haven't got them out but also i think i'll just do a whole separate video on finding like the perfect teddy bear coat so that's the main reason why there are none of those in this video but if you want a good recommendation for teddy bear coats if you're looking for budget, I would go PLT. If you're going super high-end, Max Mara is obviously it. But a more affordable version of the Max Mara coats are Jane and Tash coats. They do the most incredible teddy bear coats. They're so weighty and chunky and they honestly keep you so warm. I absolutely adore mine. I have like a dusky pinky nude tone. It is absolutely stunning. But Zara always come out with a good one. I got an amazing one in like a brown, basically like this color last year and it's absolutely stunning. And I now feel like my teddy bear coat wardrobe is like complete. Okay, next I'm gonna take you through some oldies, but some goodies. First up, we have this stunning coat from 12 stories i would highly recommend 12 stories coats if you're looking to invest in a coat that isn't we're not talking thousands but they i think they're anything between 200 to 500 pounds i think mine was actually around about the 280 pound mark which in terms of what you could spend 
at Zara. Some of their coats go into the £150 mark, sometimes more. The quality of this is so stunning that if you do actually want to spend a little bit more, if you want to spend a little bit more, not that anyone has to, this is an amazing brand to look into and I do think for the price point, what you get is just gorgeous. Oh, look at that colour. Mm. I love it. This is actually a very similar colour to the teddy bear coat that I was just talking about. Like, I just really love this colour. It is stunning and I absolutely love this one. Warm with a blue jean. I think it transcends really well from winter into spring. So this is definitely one that you might not see me wearing too much in the coming weeks and months. But normally after Christmas I start wearing this one a lot because I'm like... I hate winter. Someone please give me the spring vibes. It's the softest material. I love the black buttons, but you can get it without the black buttons, I believe, or with a more brownie button. It has a tie waist, which is just gorgeous. And it's one of those ones that works really beautifully, like I said, with a pair of jeans and with your Uggs or your trainers, but it also works so well, really dressed up as well. So it's one of those coats that I think can really cover you for lots of different occasions. And also, like I said, as we go into spring, it's just absolutely stunning i'm hoping this comes back in stock this year but they always do something kind of similar each year so you'll probably be able to find something very very similar if not the exact same but yeah absolutely love this coat i can't wait to get wearing this again another oldie but a goodie i mean i say an oldie i got this last year actually no i got this this year i got this this january so maybe it's not <laughs> maybe it's not that old <laughs> it's definitely not that old but i got this in january from zara they bought it back for this autumn winter this is stunning if you are looking for a coat that is like smart and chic but also looks so cool like dressed down this is your coat like if i could recommend one coat it might actually be this one because i have worn it so much both casually and dressed up and i'll wear it if i like have to go out on a night out so really she is the girl that does it all the only downside to this one is the material it's i'm not actually sure on the exact material but it's one of those materials that's a bit more rough and all the fluff sticks to it so it's polyester but i mean the texture of it is wild and it does get a lot of fluff stuck to it but i put up with that for the fact that this is so stunning the shoulder pads on it the silhouette that it gives just everything it just looks so cool with like a pair of jeans i'll also show you it with something more streamlined underneath and kind of dressed up ever so slightly it works so well with wide leg jeans wide leg trousers and then just like a pair of trainers or uggs super casual but it looks so good like that i absolutely adore this coat but it equally looks incredible with like a really good pair of pointed boots with a really high heel and like a skinny jean and a nice oversized bag this is just the dream ow <laughs> i just i love it this is my go-to like everyday coat well this and the gray they are like my go-to's i am absolutely beyond obsessed with them so if i could recommend any two from this video i'd probably recommend those but i do have a couple more to try on so TPC. Another one that if you are looking to kind of invest in is this coat from Marge, which I'm hoping they bring back. This is the only one that I'm like, are they going to bring this back this season? We'll see. But the great thing about the more classic coat designs is that they do tend to come back year after year. So crossing my fingers for this one because it is stunning. The material feels very similar to the 12 stories coat. It's so soft. It's absolutely beautiful. It is a shorter jacket with like a tie waist and you can wear it like undone, almost kind of casually. I don't normally wear it like this. This is not the way I intended on showing it to you, but I am gonna show it to you just cause trying things on helps me to talk about them. But yeah, it's very oversized and slouchy. I don't tend to wear it in a very oversized slouchy way. I like to wear it with something more streamlined on the bottom, so like a pair of leather look leggings and a really cool pair of boots or something like that. And then have like the oversized chunky part of it on the top half, because when you do up the like waist tie, it does kind of give it this slouchy chunky feel on the top and it does make me feel a little bit more top heavy. So I do like to have the bottom a little bit more streamlined, but this is just so stunning, so chic. Like one of those items I know I will have in my wardrobe for years and years and years. I actually used to have something very similar to this from Zara and I loved it so much. Like I adored it and I'm really excited to have like the super chic grown up big sister version of it 
in my wardrobe. I just absolutely love it. I think it's so cool. And it's quite light as well, so it makes for a really great layering piece, and I love that as well. And then my final coat from the archives. This is a real one from the archives, because I bought this in 2000 and... 18 and I absolutely love it. I know you guys absolutely love it. You guys love this so much that I am actually not sure that this is going to be available when this video goes live. I'm a little bit worried about it if I'm honest, but they brought it back in a few colors. So my fingers are crossed and just keep checking to see if they do bring it back. Some years they bring it back, but they bring it back with a waist tie. But this is one of the rarer years when they fully just brought an identical version back into stock. And I know this because this is one of the items from my mango coat order. I picked it up in grey, which if you watched my last Zara haul, again, you will already have seen this, but they are exactly the same. So I would move fast on this. This has been one of the best purchases that I have ever made for my wardrobe. I wear this every single year without fail. Some years there are just some coats in my collection that don't work with my style and this is not one of them. Every single year I wear this, no matter what I'm feeling whether I'm feeling like dressing a little bit more like edgy or a little bit more oversized or a little bit more smart or a little bit more feminine. This always works. I don't know what it is. It's crazy. It's actually called a cotagon, which is another one of the reasons that I love it because it is that cardigan coat hybrid. Like I will happily wear this around the house and I love wearing it around the house because it doesn't look weird. Like it just looks completely normal for me to have this on at home, but also it works as a coat outside. It is just my autumn winter staple. I absolutely adore it. The only thing I would say is I actually prefer to size up in this coat and i know that just completely by accident for some reason when i did this mango haul in 2018 i looked at the back end of my account and everything was ordered in small and i got everything in a medium so this coat is a medium and i have to say i much prefer the fit of this coat to the fit of the gray one the gray one is just ever so slightly smaller obviously because i got it in a size down but at the moment i'm delivering but deliberating, deliberating, is that a word? Oh my God, why, is, why are words just like leaving my brain? At the moment, I'm questioning whether I can like stretch this out and it will still have the same kind of like slouchy fit once I've worn it a fair few times or whether I need to send this back and get a medium. A bit worried that I might try to do that and there will be nothing in stock because you guys move so fast on these. Yeah, the tan I have to say is just my favorite. I do really want them to bring this out in a black color though, which they are yet to do. Mango, if you're watching on the odd chance, like the 0.00.1 odd that you are watching, please bring this out in a black because I will, I will buy several, you know? But I think we can all agree. It would very much suit my wardrobe aesthetic if they did this in a black. And I already know I love the fit and the size. It's just stunning. So if you are looking for like a lighter coat to add into your wardrobe, I highly recommend this one. I'm gonna show you the gray one on now as well. The other great thing about these is that they just last so well. Like mine does need a little bit of debobbling to be fair, but the longevity of them is so good. A lot of my coats look way worse for wear after having them for three, four, wait, what year are we in? Oh my God, it's been four years. I've had that coat for four years. After four years, they're normally looking a little bit more ropey than that one. So I've been really impressed with the longevity and the wear of them as well. So this is the gray. I do really like to be fair. And I do think that it will stretch out quite nicely. And I just really felt like gray would be a nice addition into my wardrobe, you know? What do you think? Keep or return, sides up don't size up. I just love these. They're so nice. And I think especially because my style does lean towards being more casual the majority of the time, these just work so well in with my wardrobe and my style. These would be, if I had to have a top five, the Mango Crotigan would 100% be in the top five. Okay, are you ready for a couple of coats from Mango? I know I am. Okay, first up we have this long line black coat, which I feel like is giving a similar vibe to my favorite black Zara one. However, it's not as padded on the shoulders. So if you don't like that, you might love this. And it's got a tie waist. It's a little bit similar to one I've had from All Saints for, I think maybe nearly four years, three years now, which they don't always bring back. So that's why it's not in this video, but I do absolutely love that one. But this is like 
a really nice hybrid between the two. So we're gonna give this a little go. I've got this in a size small. Doesn't say how much it was, but I will link everything below as always. And this is made from recycled wool. And you can tell that it's wool the second you start touching it because it doesn't feel great. I don't love the feel of wool. However, it does make for a nice warm coat. It's very black, like the dye on it is good. I like this. I feel like this would look really chic with like your hair tucked in if you had layers and you didn't have like girl from the ring hair like I do. This is definitely more of a smarter coat, which I don't mind. I never mind that. We love a smart coat. Just in terms of it being wool, it wouldn't be my choice just because I find it so rough. Like it's already itching my skin. Do I have an allergy or is that normal? <laughs> already really itchy, but it is a gorgeous fit i love the cinched in waist that is beautiful the length is really nice so for reference i forgot to say at the start of this video i'm five foot two to so take that into account when you're looking at coats on me but i think this is a really good length for whether you're small or you're taller it's just going to hit some point below the knee and i think that's really lovely it's a really great length but definitely not too long if you are a shorty which is amazing oh vision oh wow these are my prescription signs <laughs> Oh, I can actually see myself in the viewfinder. That's fun. This would look so gorgeous. These sunnies and this bag to break up the black, but kind of like not do anything too wild. Oh, stunning. Stunning. I need to take this off, but I'm really enjoying having vision. Next up, I've been really excited to try this on, guys. Oh my God. I hope this looks good on me. Otherwise, I will be sad. So this is like a hybrid between a like trench and a biker jacket and i love a biker jacket so i couldn't resist trying this i mean how on earth do you get this one done thank you okay here we go so it's lot this is the one that i have been the most excited for it could look completely dead and this i really liked because it's kind of like a dress coat hybrid i think they actually do do a dress version of this on mango but if you're going somewhere where the coat is basically your whole outfit, like you know you're not gonna be taking your coat off, this would be, or your jacket off, because this isn't really a coat, but this would be an amazing jacket for a scenario like that. Okay, we have pockets, that's a good sign. What do we think? I'm not sure. I need to, I need to see it. Okay, no, I don't like it. I'm really sad about this. I think on me, it's just a bit too long, like it's, it's an awkward length. Does anyone agree? Or am I being really silly? I'm just I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I'll like try and style it up to convince myself. And when I say style it up, I mean wear the same accessories that I wear every damn day. I'm not sure. I kind of knew from the second I put it on that I didn't feel like amazing in it. So this might have to be a no, but I think if you're taller, it could look incredible. I'm just feeling like it hits right above my knee and that's not a particularly flattering point for literally any garment to hit on me. I like a very specific length, literally just below like where my junk in the trunk kind of ends, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm loving it. Okay, this one best be good because if this is a dud, I need to retire. Oh, so pretty. I think this is like a navy. Oh, different. So. OGs will know I love a pea coat. This one's a little bit longer than a pea coat, to be fair, which is slightly annoying. Oh, please be good. I used to have this one from Zara. Literally, if you Google Hello October, I'm pretty sure the pea coat shows up because I wore it every damn day for about two years. This one is designed to have really big shoulder pads, which I just love like you guys know how much i love the zara coat with the really big shoulder pads and this one looked a little bit wild on the model i'm not gonna lie i think she was like wearing it maybe in a size too large for her so it looked really boxy what size did i get this in no just a small i really didn't want it to be crazy boxy on me but i'm also aware that my shoulders tend to fit things fairly well so yeah this is actually it's fine but it's still like giving good shoulder if that makes sense i really like it i just wasn't expecting the navy tone it's kind of thrown me slightly but i love coats like this they're amazing for like nights out so they would look amazing with just like a pair of knee high black boots you could wear tights you could go without and just a little dress underneath i just think these coats are the best for autumn winter especially like party season if you do like wearing a shorter dress they can just look really stunning however like i said the color has thrown me because i was expecting to be able to wear this 
with boots that aren't black but I had a very specific new pair of boots in mind which I don't know if you guys will have seen yet but I think I'm not going to go with navy so I'm not sure but I think in terms of just like a wardrobe investment in general this is amazing the colors really throwing me but also I think the model that was wearing it was very 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 tall so it's definitely not hitting me at the same point it kind of looked almost more pea coat esque on her they're generally a little bit shorter whereas this feels like a blazer coat on me which isn't the end of the world like and i love the structure that the shoulders are giving but i'm just not sure it's giving me what i wanted yeah let me know what you guys think so now we're at the end of this video for me i think the top five has to be in first place the zara black padded shoulder coat because it is just my favorite ever, the gray Zara coat, or the mango coat again, actually. I think the mango coat again for longevity should go in second place. Then the gray Zara coat. And then I'm really struggling because I actually did kind of like the naked trench. I actually did enjoy that one. And I enjoyed styling it up. And once it was styled up, I kind of really loved it. But I also think like the Marge and 12 Stories coats are amazing additions to your wardrobe that just feel amazing and are like lovely quality. I think they're the kind of coat that looks good on everyone. But then this mango coat has kind of thrown me. That was an unexpected one. So that might... That might have to rank in somewhere. Basically, I can do a top three, but not a top five. So that's my top three. Oh, I actually don't mind this. I think this is kind of like a bit cooler undone. Anyway, I need to stop now. I need to go. Let me know what you think on this one. Honestly, I, I need opinions. But that is going to be it from me for today's video. I feel like that may have been a little bit longer than the 20 minutes that I was aiming for. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my autumn winter coat edit. Let me know if you do want more coat content. If there's coats that I didn't cover like certain styles that you would like me to cover because i can definitely follow this up with another one soon i did a lot of my coat shopping very early for me this year i wouldn't normally buy all of my coats so early at this point but that was just the way the cookie crumbled this year so if you do want to follow up let me know be loud in the comments because if you don't ask i won't know that you want it but i hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it useful and i hope you're all having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye